The intensity of, of their training and, and the fitness levels that these players bring, because a lot of these are playing the football as well. Like you know, it's a credit to them, and it's, great, it's been a great year for their for their club. Like you know, and the thing about today, Kieran, if they win today, they have a break. That's the key for me. If they can get a result today, but hopefully Bally is going to get over the bridge. They were uh, get over the line. They were outstanding last 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 week, two weeks ago against Bally. Hey, got their break. On the, on they go again. In fairness to Bally Gunner, on the flip side, Bally Gunner were, were waiting eight weeks for the Bally E game. Eight, eight weeks, and yet they hit the ground running. That's a great tribute to all of them. Unbelievable, Kieran. I, I thought um, the intensity, the, the, the intensity, the, the intensity they bought to. The intensity they brought to, to, to the to the day last day against Bally Hay was, was unbelievable, Kieran. But one thing I'd say, Bally Hay were very poor last week, Kieran. They, they were very poor um, Clare champions uh, last week. I know Tony Kelly was missing, so he was. But I thought Bally Gunner from the start, Phil man, he backed their march in defence. Eight, ten, two months, three months old, comes back in there and gives a man a match performance. What a man to have back for Bally Gunner. I rate him so highly, Kieran O'Connor, that, that he, he just sits in the pocket. He's a leader. They know where to go with him. And he'll be vital, vital today for Belly Gunner. As a guard, Shane O'Sullivan, 36 years of age, the oldest man on the team. Um, what a servant he's been, and really with Philip, with Philip coming back, it's really um, tightened up that half back. But, but Shane O'Sullivan is something special. Yeah, he's unbelievable, Kieran. Uh, again, Kieran O'Connor, he's a, a sports psychologist as well. But he, he's just, um, he's so much belief in himself, Kieran. When, when Philip was gone, he, the Belly Gunner didn't panic. They said Shane number six. And he was outstanding there, like you know, solely believes in his own ability, you know, and, and that is massive. He's represented his county, but what was everything for his club, Bally Gunner? He's been outstanding, he's still there, he's still as fit as ever, he's still as hungry as ever, but the more he has such belief in his own ability, Kieran, which is so important. Porrick Manny has come back from an injury, but Philip Manley has come back from two breaks in this year alone. Yeah. Very few fellas then would come back from one that I might from two, but it shows you what it means to them to play for Valley Gunner. But I think Kieran that wouldn't happen any other any other fella, to be honest with you. Then. So it is uh, to come back from two leg breaks and two different legs to, to be honest, not in the one league, but to come back for that, credit the man like you know, shows the ability and the mentality he has to get back to try and win a, a monster club for Bally Gunner. So the Bally Gunner team line out in goal, Stephen O'Keefe, full back down Ian Kenny, Barry Cockland, Tyke Foley, half back down Shane O'Sullivan, Philip Manny, the joint captain and Ronan Power, middle of the field, Conor Sheen and Paddy Levy, half forward line, Desi Hutchin, Mikey Manny and Peter Hogan, and the full forward line, Billy O'Keefe, Kevin Manny and Powerick Manny. So clean bill of health there where the Lockmore Castellani have made two late changes. John Ryan wearing 17, he'll come in at cornerback for Willie Eviston and also wearing 20, Kieran McGrath comes in for Liam Tracy. So clean bill of health for Dara and his men. There's a minute silence here for a few stalwarts of the Tipperary J world who passed away during the week and of course also our sympathies too from all in the J to Marty Morrissey who lost his Mum during the week, tragically, and uh, our sympathies to all these people at this very sad time. But uh, Marty Morrissey has yeah. been so supportive of everyone, both media and players, then over the oh, years. Unbelievable, Kieran. What a tragedy, like, you know, um, to, to Marty and his family, like, you know, and we're all thinking about him. So, around the here, it's Munster semi final, it's Fraher Field, it's Lockmore Castellani, and Belly Gunner. Talking is over, Dan. How do you call it? Just before throw in. Yeah, I think Bally Gunnar here and they're here they're around a long time. They're they'll want it. Um, I think the, nine, the, the 19 weeks in a row might catch Castle 9. A lot of one lads have heavy legs today, Kieran. So if I'm a Warford man, you'll be hoping Bally Gunnar win today. Yes, referee in the middle of the field. Huge day for a referee on a day like They today have the win, Kieran Bally Gunnar. And uh, it looks like, yeah, Bally Gunnar have the win. Would you have taken the win, Dan? 
Um, it's hard. Look, Kieran, it's 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 fifty fifty. If, if it works, they will all send it. If it doesn't, they'll be silent and they should have played against it. They have a good referee as well there, so it's going to be vital um, where the matchups are, Kieran. Who's going to go where? And Philip Manny's on McGrath already, like you know, and Liam. So ball is in. Once the semi final underway, the lights are on. Thankfully, we don't need them yet, but we may do before the end of the evening here in Farrer Field. First touch for Brian McGrath, the wing back, got a great score in the replay. Final out to the middle of the field. Paddy Levy now for Belly Gunner and the black and red. They have the win to their backs. They're playing down into the town goal here in Dungarvan. Corner forward there, Porig Mahan. He sends a lovely ball inside into Desi. First touch for Desi down in the scoreboard corner. Turns his marker, has a look, takes his shot and sends it over the bar. Lovely ball into the corner. Who better to take it than Desi? Turns his marker over the bar. Ideal uh, start for Desi and for Belly Gunner. Massive, massive Kieran. Great ball from Porig Mahan. Down the line. The ball bounced actually Kieran into his hand as Desi loved that ball and over the bar. Aidan McGrath with the puck out wing forward and the football was beaten last weekend they, they'll be hope, we hope that they can reverse that result this week from the puck out they're bre- breaking the ball forward John McGrath gone into oh. the danger zone oh. good play inside there by Ian Kenny was there a foul yes says the referee there ball broke John McGrath looked trying to get to it ball is taken quickly Philip Mahoney the joint captain moves the ball away to Mikey Mahoney impressive the last day down into Billy O'Keefe the, the defender now turned attacker. Two goals the last. They bring it out to the 45. Scoops the ball back. Back as far as Porik Mahoney. Porik sends it into the danger zone. Desi's inside. Can he get a touch on it? Covering back is Brian McGrath for the lock more men. On the town end yeah. here. The River Colligan. The tight may be out, but it's not gone out yet for Belly Gunner. It's going to be free out and relief for the men from Lockmore. First of all, Keelan, great quick free for Philip Mahoney, but again, good covering from Brian McGrath there. Yeah. Desi Hutchinson was gone on this. Brian McGrath was there for a goal chance, but again, good cover from number seven. Aidan McGrath, the keeper. Wing forward in the football team last week sends it long inside the 65. The wind is against the Lockmore man in this first half, favouring the lads from Waterford here. Lockmore trying to get it and break through from this puck out. Good ball inside there to Nolan McGrath, the danger man. This could be very dangerous. Ball with a chance of a shot. Oh, save. Saving O'Keefe has brought up a brilliant save there. Saki and his brilliant best. Looked a certain goal, but Saki was called and and Saki delivered. Stephen O'Keefe, all star goalie. Dan, what a save. Yeah, unbelievable, Saki, Kieran. Time. One against one there. Stephen O'Keefe stood up, Kieran. Well, he's saying all the time, Keane, what a keeper. And uh, down here in the left hand corner, the play actually resumed. We thought it was gone out over the line, but the play went down. It's going to be free out and relieved. But Stephen O'Keefe, there, my God, what what a save. It looked a point blank there, and very few keepers, as, as when it comes to shot stopping, they've done yeah. better. But when John McGrath gets a ball breathing down in goal, you'd back him then. Yeah, well, of course, Kieran, I think the one thing John did, he didn't really hit it off the ground, Kieran. He hit it low to his credit, but it didn't bounce in front of Sock. But again, what great, what great uh, goalkeeping from Keith McGrath to McGrath. Um, and Kieran, but again, that's why he's there. That's why Valley Gunnar are winning champions because he's making vital saves and producing vital puckouts. So John McGrath now with a chance of a free six man of the match awards. He's been outstanding this year. Seven seventy two in the Tip Championship. Hadn't a good year for Tip County, but this one has gone over the bar. I thought it was tailing right and wide. So over the bar it goes. One point apiece, Dan, and we've played just three minutes a lot of action in three minutes yeah great Kieran for the conditions again for credit both teams so Stephen O'Keefe looking for options where's he going he's going long he's going into the half forward line Porrick has come out to try and win that that's Porrick Manny over on the far side running onto the ball trying to boot it down into the dressing room corner he has the ball he's turning his marker what can he do he plays it out Peter Hogan Hogan has a look Hogan takes his shot oh it's gone right and wide worth a try first wide goes to Bally Gunner with one point apiece worth a try then yeah Kier worth a try there Kier and um, so it was um, uh, again Kier just it was worth a try but a bit away from Peter so puck out down the right Aidan McGrath with the puck out for Lockmore Casalini 19 weeks in a row can they make it lucky number 20 here this afternoon in, in Kenny Bursant for Belly Gunner Paddy Levy just missed the pass there and he can't miss it against these boys Tomas McGrath going forward works the ball back to his cousin John McGrath John on the 45 has a look takes his shot but it's going to tail left and it's going to tail wide first worried for Lockmore Levy there just caught in possession ball broke but left and wide relief for Belly Gunner one point yeah, apiece relief Kieran but again um, strong wind out to Kieran he couldn't blame him having the bad wide Porrick man he coming very deep yeah, He's really, really working hard, getting the ball into the full forward line. Into his younger brother, Kevin Mahoney, but he, he fails to hold on to it. Taking it out now is Peter Hogan. Not the best of passes from Hogan. And away come the men from Lockmore in the red and green. Evan Sweeney has moved out to the middle of the field to try and get onto that ball. Intercepting is Kevin Mahoney. That's good play by young Mahoney. Gets the ball onto the older brother. Pouring lovely ball inside to Desi, outside to D. Desi has the ball in his hand. Two men around him, three men. He's turning to his left, has a look, takes his shot. 
Oh, it's gone free, right and wide. Is yes, there a free then? Yeah, yes. there is, Kieran. Uh, again, yeah. Kieran. Porrick Mahoney is dictating everything to move Barry Gunner, getting him on the ball, he's spraying the ball, massive ball there, Kieran. You have to see here to, to believe it the way he sprinted across Daisy Hutch, he knows where Daisy's gonna go, Kieran, and Daisy knows where Porrick's gonna go put the ball, but a great free. Daisy had the chance to put over the bar, but he, knowing that he had the free, he could take that chance. Really on top of his game, three men around him, but he, he was able to he's so elusive and had the shot, and here's a man, Porrick Manny, taking this free. A man I always feel is very underestimated. People put Porrick Manny down as a free taker. He's more than that then. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus. He, 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 He's a top class taller, but he's he, he get on any team in the country, Kieran. If I'm being honest with you, eight points the last day, nine points in the county final. This is outside the D for a man who's come back from a serious injury. Takes the free, sends it over the bar. It's two point to one, and Porrick Manny gets that vital score. Two points to one. Bally Gunner wanted a good start. They have the win, and then they lead every score they can get in this first half. You mean Kieran? Yeah. So puck out. For Lockmore Castellani, the red and green of Lockmore Castellani, the black and red of Belly Gunner, dangerous ball gone inside for Noel McGrath, but unfortunately from a Belly Gunner point of view, just squirts off out over a line ball, 20 metres out, playing into the country end here, over on that far side, a few hardy souls, including the TG cameraman, TG Gar cameraman are up in the gantry in these blustery conditions here, gale force wind, not quite as bad as we had earlier in the week, line ball, Noel McGrath gives that ball across, trying to get it back again to Noel steadies himself an impossible angle takes the shot right and wide not really the best option then but right and wide let off for Belly Gunner score remains 2-1 Belly Gunner 2 up 2-1 up after 8 minutes yeah but when you're, when you're normal guy here, you couldn't fault him for having the chance to be honest with you there. I think Barry Cockton is actually following John McGrath on the field here three time Oster three All-Ireland medals but he'd love a provincial medal to add to his first one for Lockmore, lovely ball inside by Porrick again, trying to get it low into Desi, running onto the ball. With him is Paddy Levy, Paddy scooping the ball across, Chan for Johnson, goal! What a goal! Build up was good to finish the size up. This time is Kevin Manny, rattles the back of the net. Almost seven minutes gone, they wanted a good early score, they've got the big one, they got the goal on seven minutes there. Yeah, I said it there a minute ago, Kieran. Daisy and Porrick Manny have an understanding there. Great work from Paddy Levy, could have given it to Daisy, but saw the extra man aside. Great goal for Belly Gunner. Seven minutes gone, that's the start they wanted. They have that strong win, they want to build on the scoreboard. It's 1 2 to a point. Ollie drew me down the scoreboard as earlier. He was over here early this morning, Ollie was here good and early. What a servant he's been here over the years and part and parcel of the backroom team here. Hold up and play in the middle of the line, in the middle of the field. Johnny Ryan, they're just stopping the play, but that goal was crucial then. Yeah, Kieran, unbelievably crucial for Belly Gunner, like you know, they're with a strong breeze, so they are, but again, the, the way Porrick and Daisy are finding each other, I don't believe. Time on the ball then, yeah, which Kieran, the... which I'm surprised at Porrick that, that Brian McGrath really has to get tight on Porrick Man. I didn't think he starts his on him, no, but uh, because he's causing serious damage for, 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 for Lockmore. And working very hard, coming out very deep, is the Belly Gunner race. Cart control man, of course. And a proud Belly Gunner man. Ball trolling around the middle of the field. It's around the 65. Bit of stalemate, stalemate there. I'm sure Johnny Murphy will be blowing up the whistle. But no, he's leaving the play on. It's inside the 65. It's 1-2 to a point in points as Peter Hogan comes away with a lovely ball. Shane O'Sullivan, first touch. Low ball into Desi. That's what he likes. Outside the 20. What's Desi going to do with this one? He's been chased inside by the defender. But where does he put it? Over, Over the bar there. Lock and Egan didn't know where to come, didn't know where to go, but Desi knew where to go and puts it over the bar. Great score, Desi. Second of the afternoon, bit of class again from the from the, the Belly Gunner race. It's, it seems to be the plan, Shane O'Sullivan, this time fighting Desi Hutchinson. So I think Lock Moore will have to do something about the number four, Kieran. Didn't score from play the last day. Shane O'Sullivan picks it out here. Great play by the veteran of again, the team. Again. Lovely ball inside to Desi. Desi again in front of his marker. His marker, Lark and Egan. Stands off him, you can't nice. stand off Desi, he sends it over the bar there. But Shane O'Sullivan, lovely diagonal ball down into the dressing room corner, into Desi. Desi turns, turn point for Desi, Desi on fire. Unbelievable, actually, Kieran, the way he's got one here on the right as we look down the field. The next minute he goes across diagonal from Sully again over the bar from the left side. Great positional play by the Spally Gunner team. They really are a skillful unit. People question them, myself included, under these wet conditions, but so far so good. Nine minutes gone, 1 4 to a point here in the far field. You're listening to George Corbett score the big match. Oh, Lock more on the attack. Noel McGrath, lovely chip lift by the former All Star into his brother John. John under a bit of pressure over the far side, hard pulling there by John McGrath. Yeah, that's his second one. Ian Kenny. Kenny was there as well, but as you say, Dan, his second one. I'm amazed the ref didn't have a word yeah, with him there. But his uh, second wild pull, a bit here. wild, wild uh, pulling. And I've seen him twice in get yellow cards for the for, for especially for the second one. He pulled across Ian Kenny, who who, who walked hard to dis, dispossess the ball there brilliantly. 
but looking down the field Casey Daisy Hutchinson right on top of the goalkeeper now guarantee he'll make that run in, in the last second so Belly Gunner with this free the moving already is unbelievable the moving from Belly Gunner is unbelievable yeah. Philip come back to take it Philip Mahoney back from those two serious injuries gets the ball into Billy O'Keefe didn't hold it in the first attempt younger brother of goalie Saki over near the far side near the 65 he's dispossessed just was between two minds and in the end in came a lock moment but Paddy Levy comes in to pick it up the under 20 star what an impact he's had to his midfield partner Connor Sheehan didn't connect sweetly on that one dropping in around the danger zone full back inside Joey Hennessy the national school teacher comes out for it leaves it to Larkin Egan and gets the ball into his hand and gets it up to the far side of the field Evan Sweeney playing way deep for the Loch Mormon in outside the 20 metre line what can they do with it now they lose the hurley lovely with a chip lift there 11 of them played football last Sunday they're the dual county champions he the ball, yeah. but he overcarried the ball there but Noel McGrath we saw him doing the chip lift and hurley he did it there football style again this man is a treble all-star Dan three All-Ireland medals class personified yeah he's a class act uh, Kieran to be honest with you we're unlucky there but again he did over- he overcarry the ball Stephen O'Keefe Saki comes out and takes that quickly down into the right hand corner Mahoney down in this corner what's he going to do with steadying himself playing the ball way back to Nunmark Connor Sheehan on the 45 Connor has a look take way, a shot. he pulled it a bit to the left I think he has Ooh. pulled left and pulled wide second ride for Belly Gunner score remains 1-4 to a point Belly Gunner must be happy with this opening yeah 100% opening. Kieran they'd be delighted Kieran they'd be delighted they've won a two bad boys there Kieran but they're well on top in this game left no stone unturned disappointed the game wasn't offered but they were up on Abbey's side good and early to have a puck round I believe lot more were out in Dungarvan but Belly Gunner have hit the ground literally running here this afternoon bit off the ball there by Brian McGrath there on Parik man, he bit of needless stuff I think there's frustration setting in already with lot more then yeah there is Kieran I think they, they they yeah, kind of gone to the line there that he hit McGrath across his, he broke his hand there a couple of weeks ago like you know so the manager's given out there so he is but again Fort Official is down there to look after that not that I'm a big fan of Fort Official but he's doing a good job <laughs> so John McGrath one All-Star one All-Ireland medal with tip but he'd love to add a Munster one with his club Lockmore of course double winners in Tipperary this year but this one goes left and wide he'd be disappointed with that that's two chances he's missed then yeah two chances from a, from, from a very very good holder here he will be disappointed Stephen Hockey just looking for the options trying to pick out somebody no it's better man ball. to pick out a man then looking for the younger brother that's Billy ran for that one oh he saw that from way up but unfortunately didn't get in the first attempt gets it on the second right over near the far side lane under the TG Gunner cameras over on that far side it's going to be line ball to Belly Gunner but if any man can pick a man out then it's Saki uh, that's what I said Kieran there a minute ago he's definitely the way the ball bounced for his brother there Kieran to run onto that in the space the way he hit it head high the way the ball what a, what a, what a talent Paddy Levy gets it to Billy O'Keefe now on the 65 good line ball by Paddy working the ball back Connor Sheehan bit of overplay for him tracking back is Shane O'Sullivan good play by Shane inspiring excellence is his company but he inspires players around him when he's with Billy Gunner long ball in from Kevin Mahan he's down into the corner but really into no man's land and away come the men from Lockmore Joey Hennessy puts him on the attack in around the danger zone Noel McGrath's in there so too is Connor Forward Ed Connolly it's just outside the D this could be dangerous for the Gunners but they win that ball Shane O'Sullivan went in dug deep and gets the ball away out to the middle of the field there and it's Connor Sheehan there but Shane O'Sullivan literally came from nowhere then snapped it up cover to Connor Sheehan brilliant free out and brilliant Shane O'Sullivan John McGrath's going to get a yellow card here Kieran. he's his third offence actually to be honest he's having a frustrating day um, on Ian Kenny or, or Barry Coughlin whichever one he picks up but again Sullivan brilliant inside I think yeah. they, they dropped the sweeper no lock more Kieran so they're very worried about Deji Hutchinson too my mark and one for the like no so so, so the free th- inside their own 45 Philip coming over to take it but oh, a comeback yeah. he made the last the De La Salle teacher injured most of the season but he's back and he's back big time down into the left hand corner scoreboard corner covering across Larkin Egan gets the ball out to half back Brian McGrath Brian Fowle is going to be free out and relief for Lockmore the wind down has changed it's going yeah. more cross field than really down yeah, yeah, Kieran, it was a free out but Lockmore in possession there Kieran. you think he'd leave the ball go and leave a flow a bit there to be honest with you they had, they had positions men over to get it to drive it on yeah they're kind of cutting the headlights yeah. at the moment but we know that they've been slow starters all year they're written off in the county final the drawn game and in the replay came back and won And but now they won possession this could be very very dangerous to run the run good ball inside now for John McGrath Pulse. Oh, save. oh save again Stephen O'Keefe, how does he do it? John McGrath holds his hand out. How did he stop that one? He stopped one earlier. This was even better because he was in on top of him. Pull first time. Saki at his brilliant best. He may not have won an All-Star this year, but if there's a better goalie in Waterford or in Ireland, I'd like to see him. Ball in the middle of the field. Goalkeepers are there to stop balls. Is there a better stopper at the moment? 
Then the belly gunner custodian ball over on the far side, Kevin Manny there. A bit wild there by Lockmore, but going back to John McGrath, in on goal then, in your pump then, you'd have put that ah. away, but uh, full full credit to Saki. I don't know what it would be a keeper of, of, of Stephen's quality, Kieran, but I tell you one thing, John McGrath did the right thing, um, so he did by pulling straight away because Barry Cochran and Ian Kenny were up on top of him, but again, what a save from Stephen O'Keefe. He does that, he flicks, comes from the, the left hand side to save it. Brilliant save. I think not more getting frustrated here, Kieran. I know you had a car there for one of the boys. I think they're frustrated by Barry Gunner well on top. Um, they could have two goal chances but again for Stephen O'Keefe they have no goal so free under 65 the man to take it uh, Porrick has gone well out to take it it's it's just outside the 65 but it's on the sideline he's playing and hitting it into the, the town end if it's gone all the way to be super score it's gone over the bar that is a super score by Porrick Manny he's second of the afternoon what a sweet strike in oh, different oh, conditions oh, unbelievable just before the water break here and, um, so, 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 so it is again but massive score from Porrick uh, where Porrick has put him over the chance he's got John, John McGrath has missed his chances Kieran so he has again but again Kieran no, belly gunner well on top here. This water break again. How will they react after? Dan one five to a point. Obviously, the water break for Lockmore has come. Always the team in front dread the water break. So it's very important that they don't leave momentum drop because I've never seen a team hit the ground so well, particularly in the month of December. Yeah, unbelievable, Kieran. And did you said earlier on eight weeks out without a game. The way they came back into Belly here above there in Clare, away to Clare where they were given a chance. Uh, to, but here we're giving a massive chance to upset the rubber. The way they came back in today, they come from the start. Here and they keep on intensity is unbelievable. They're so professional, organised. One man in there, Dan. That you've great time for Shafe is Patrick. He's yeah. been there for decades, and his daughter's now involved. What a servant he's been oh. for the club, and they ensure that everyone is hitting the ground, literally running, and and there's nobody carrying any bit of injury. Uh, and um, I think they've been unbelievable servants for Un- the club. Unreal, Kieran. I'm just watching there. People coming out from the stand into the group, giving their point of view to the management to give, give to the players. That's why they were where they are here, and that's why they're the best in this county. They have the the knowledge, the facilities, if everything to do the professionalism is the word I suppose I'm looking for here and that they can bring this to, to the team. Well other clubs in, in this county and other counties don't have that. Lockmore, of course, Frankie McGrath, he's been there, done it. They're going to come out fighting. These five minutes are going to be crucial then. They are, Kieran, because to be honest with you, like, you know, it's two weeks in a row now. It's been nineteen weeks in a row if I'm being honest with you, but it's two weeks they won't they won't want to to lose again today they're going to come out no fight at this water break here I'm just not a big fan of it because it changes the momentum but again for the time of year maybe uh, it, it might work but please God I'm sure Darrell Sullivan belly gunner manager wasn't happy with it but he's hoping these players can keep that focus they lead 1-5 to a point yeah. Barry second Coxon's quarter going, Barry Coxon's going toe to toe with John McGrath today yeah, so Barry Coxon no better marker than Barry puck out there Aidan McGrath resumes the play here and we've gotten the clock 15 and a half minutes well won inside by Evan Sweeney dangerous ball he's looking yeah, for John uh, McGrath Coughlin and John McGrath I think that was a bit harsh Dan on, yeah. on Barry Coughlin but of course Barry Coughlin is well known to referees and I think often the reputation of a defender can, can work against you Yeah Kieran, uh, the ball was hit and he had the whistle blown to, to be honest it was a quick free the only worry you have there Kieran, John McGrath was one on one with Barry um, I think Philip will have to keep his step back there just for the, for, for the, next, just for the next few minutes because Would you not consider moving Philip back? Uh, I'm not, not, not panicking straight away Kieran, but I didn't think would, would they have Barry one on one with John inside because straight away he's got a free like, and, and it's over the bar and He sends it over the bar a second point there ball in Barry Cox in fairness I think harshly Foul or called on by the referee, but it goes over the bar. It's 1 5 to 2.16 minutes. Stephen O'Keefe down our left, looking for options. The lights are on here. The wind not blowing as strong as it was. The rain, thankfully, is eased, but very heavy underfoot conditions here in the far field. Well done to all of all to have the pitch in such condition. Mikey Mahoney got a crucial goal the last day, but dispossessed now. And they're on the attack again that's lot more covering across is Philip Mahoney Philip oh he was trying to hook it back there and Lee McGrath came from nowhere to hook him there I think yeah, Philip yeah. thought he'd more times going to be free in there played it on the ground I think Philip won that ball so well turned and all the time in the world he thought but then came Lee McGrath brilliant hook a foul on the ball by uh, Philip so it's a free and chance for McGrath uh, to get yeah, his third yeah Kieran, I think you, you get away with it in this club championship down here where Philip had more time than he would because he was going straight back to Stephen O'Keefe but again great pressure from the great pressure from the lads there but again another chance straight away here and after the water break they get the first two scores of the game lock more that's not about the water break area but it's up to John McGrath to put over the bar now so John McGrath of course part of the football team of course last weekend as well where he played midfield takes the free and sends it over the bar it's 19 weeks in a row but John McGrath has had some year for uh, lock more for a man who had a poor year with the county he's really excelled yeah Kieran, I thought he, I, I looked I looked at him this year and I thought they were very tired. I thought they were very tired in the grass for, for Tipperary this year. Ronan Power. First real touch for Ronan. Gets the ball up, puts it onto the attack. Breaking out to it is 
Porrick Manny, what a game this man has had. Been on the ball so much, looking in for Desi, but well read inside by Joey Hennessy, the fullback. The Moon Tour gets it out to the halfback, and Maher puts them on the attack. Downside of 45, John McGrath scoops it out, trying to get the ball to Lee McGrath. Bit of overplay for him, covering back. Good play there by. Mahoney there coming out with the ball was he fouled yes says the referee there but good good covering player and that's what it's all about Porrick Mahoney's had some opening unbelievable minutes. came but again great work from Barry Cock and this possessed, possessed John McGrath there lovely flick for John just didn't come off and it was put in the summer Kieran, but it wouldn't today but again Porrick Mahoney going deep he's inside his own 45 next he's back out outside the, the opposition 45 reading the game what quality players do Tara Sullivan of course uncle to the Mahoney's older brother of course of Shane and uncle also of course to Tyg Foley so he's Six, six nephews involved and a brother on the team. Unbelievable, of course. I'm sure Lillian, his mum, the proud granny, is somewhere up in the stand as well. As Pori prepares to take this one, it's inside his own 45. Now it's kind of wind assisted, but not as much as it was. It's blown more into the dressing room scoreboard corner. Has he pulled it a bit left? I think he has. He's hit it. He has the distance. Batted down side by O'Keefe, but well won inside by the corner back there. Lark and Egan. Again, Kieran could he left the goal? He had possession of the ball. He was coming out to field, blew it up for a free. To, to, so he did. But again, um, great play, great, great play there from the fullback. Yeah, it's so a good play inside. And yellow card. A, y- yellow card for Billy O'Keefe. Was that a bit of a harsh dad? I didn't yeah, see it's, it's kind of a wild pull, Kieran, but I, I think John McGrath had two wild pulls before he got a three <laughs> he got his one, got so one the next minute. Billy it's O'Keefe one yellow one. piece, but the scoreboard count. You listen to George Corbett's go to big matches. Dan Channel and myself, Kieran O'Connor, bring you all the action. One five to three points, almost 20 minutes gone in, in a very blustery Sunday afternoon in the month of December here in Fraher Field. So the puck out is a decent crowd here and a great crowd down from Lockmore they've been travelling all year what money they've spent all year following the boys in red and green around but they're hoping for another big one today as the, <laughs> oh, the goalie just put it straight out over the line ball that's a real deflator yeah, for that, a team that's, then that's what I said a minute here. if he left the goal the, the, he would have bought out the field and, and kept the attack going but again that's straight down by they're going to have straight the attack straight away no again Paddy Levy the under-20 star, UCC student. What a year he had with the under-20. What a year he's had with Belly Gunner and a real man for the future. Real dynamo in the middle of the field. Hard to believe he's so young, but he's really fitted in seamlessly. Five new players into the team this year over the last couple of years, and uh, it just shows you the conveyor belt they have. Lockmore, Brian McGrath, dropping inside the 45. Bit of a collision of players out. Shane O'Sullivan just saw it all the way. Gets the ball across as far as Ronan Power. Ronan gets it back to Stephen O'Keefe. The Bank of Ireland man, the all-star. Comes it down into the right. Retired from inter-county foot hurling, but what a pity he has done that. But we hope Springs Eternal, who knows, he might be back before too long. Long ball inside the 45. Kevin Mahoney. Good play by Kevin. What's he going to do with it? Plays the ball back to the middle of the field. Paddy Levy. The man with the psychedelic boots. What's he doing? On to Connor Sheehan. Connor turns in the sixth minute there. Good play by Connor. Out it goes to Peter Hogan. Hit it in a hurry. Hit it fairly quick. And he's hit it over the bar there. A lovely bit of interplay. I thought it was going right and wide then. We were really in the flight of that ball. Super scoring the end well, after we, good build up. Well, really, Kieran, I was putting over as a wide to be honest with you. When they came in, I said the wind ball didn't care. We'll say it did anyway. We'll yeah, he ended hold. at the right, and definitely the wind is blown from right to left as you look into the town goal, the Colligan goal here on the right hand side. From the puck out, Ronan Power picks it up. Good play by Ronan, the Mary Eye student. Gets the breaks the ball out only as far as Evan Sweeney for the lock Mormon and he, now in danger Kieran Connolly's gone through he takes the shot and he sends it over the bar breakdown on Belly Gunner ball breaks onto Kieran Connolly over the bar just show you Dan these guys give him half a chance they'll be back it's 1-6 4 points yeah long ways to go yeah Kieran they're coming into the game but I see John McGrath down there now but it can create work for, for, for from Kieran Connolly, the great score. He, yeah. he, he could have got he could have got a pan pass inside Kieran for another opportunity. But the way O'Keefe is playing, I don't think he'd have scored it. So Stephen O'Keefe, two blistering saves in this opening 21 minutes. You're listening to George Corbett score. Oh, 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 and off gone. the ball there. He's in trouble. Off the ball there, number Paddy 12. Levy. John and Noel number McGrath. 12, Noel McGrath. It's so trouble. unlike Noel McGrath. He's a three-time also, three-time All-Ireland winner. Not in his DNA and all. I've watched him throughout his career. He had a cancer problem yeah. a few years ago. We're all delighted he came back. But that was not in the rule yeah. book there. Not sure if the cameras picked that up. But my God, Dan, Paddy yeah. Levy felt that. We felt it up here. We saw a bit of frustration earlier with him here but uh, uh, it's really overspilled there I heard the crowd here not even getting on there that's something that happened to John McGrath to be honest with you. we didn't see but I I only heard the crack here but he's not the linesman he's I don't know these, did the linesman even see this here to be honest to with you yellow apiece are we let's see if he struck here he's gone. gone in but 
It's Noel McGrath being called over by referee John Murphy of Limerick. Is there a, big decision here, a card coming here? Is there colour? Yellow. No red. It's a red. It's a red. Devastation for the lot more, man. Frustration exudes here this afternoon for the tip champions and Noel McGrath watched him all his career he's disgusted with himself three time all-star three time all-Ireland winner sees red after 23 minutes then yeah, the management here and, and, and not more aren't happy they're on to the official again like you know these decisions change games here and I didn't see it to be honest with you but I don't know the linesman see it either Paddy Levy back and recovered from that injury ball into the corner goal Billy O'Keefe showing Welford coming out to the stand side 20 metres out Park Hotel side holds up the ball what's Billy going to do with left handed sends it across looking for Peter Rogan that's the best high ball for Peter into the breaking ball is Kevin Mahoney fails to hold it it's in the Lockmore D it's in the danger zone who's going to come out with it there's a Malia players a loose ruck of players there but I don't think the referee will have to blow it there about six or eight players inside the D I think he'll have to throw it in but yeah, uh, here, and looking down here the Lockmore a lot more contingent are going mad on the line Kieran to be honest with you they're going mad on the line like you know so it must have been harsh enough Peter so Holden second time 22 minutes red for Noel McGrath is the talking point of this opening 23-24 minutes 174 Belly Gunner the Warford Champions leading that goal coming from Kevin Mahoney after 7 minutes really settled the Warford Champions but now we have a different game on hand it's 15 against 14 very often the 14 as Warford knew in the famous final in 04 with John Milan what can happen ball breaks to Lee McGrath now for Lockmore he's putting the boot to the floor there foul coming through covering back the Belly gunner defence and referee has no question but it's the free and for the lock Mormon. But yeah, as you say, Dan, the lock Mormon down the line there. Yeah, um, look, Eugene Dance, Stapleton, Frankie McGrath, they were absolutely savage. But I, when I, you see I, a fella, when you see a fellow going down, Kieran, this, this is another rule, Kieran. The doctor wants to go on to see the, see the player, and she's not yeah. left on because leave a go. The, 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 these officials yeah. sometimes get carried away, Kieran. If I've been honest, the fourth and nines were never. So yeah, there's a lot of lads with bibs down yeah, there today. Oh, yeah. Stop. So, uh, okay, we start the game. John McGrath with the free, and John McGrath sends it over the bar. It's number four for him. It's keeping that scoreboard ticking over. So, Blackmore will be happy because Belly Gunner have whatever wind is there. It's blowing down into that dressing room corner. It's 175, it's double scores, but there's a long, long way to go in this Munster semi final. George Corbett scored a big match. We're live with every puck from Farfield. Keard Conley on the run Conley hits the shot Conley sends it over the bar there he's a powerful midfielder yeah he's all there Kieran O'Connor but he's he's a powerful it's his second point I think he's the only man to score from play today Kieran he's son um, of the coach and he, I know the coach yeah. is a, uh, has a huge impact on the team but my god that's a one for his dad there because that was a super score at a crucial time by Kieran Conley sharp puck out oh, oh a bit of pressure here from that sharp puck out Evan Sweeney seizes the opportunity inside the 13 metre line near the end line ball breaking there to John McGrath in the end but John slips the ground goes out that could have come unstuck there uh, Ty Foley there with, with the sharp puck out just dropped it there for a while and really it looked dangerous signals but uh, it, it they've recovered and yeah, let off and relief for Belly Gunner. Now they're back onto the attack. Ball down over to the far side. Tommy Maher runs out the half back. What's Tommy going to do? This one's gone out. Out over the line. It's going to be line ball for a lot more Castellani. The lights are on then and we need him. It's gone very, very dark. But thankfully, I don't think the, the rain is eased. The wind not quite as strong, but it's still favouring Belly Gunner down into the dressing room corner. Yeah, Kieran, uh, again, to, to make a lot more have really come into the game since they're sitting off Kieran. So they have, so it usually happens, I suppose. The referee seems to give the. 14 a bit more leniency 26 minutes gone 1 7 belly gunner 6 points lot more Casalini Connor Sheen puts, puts the gunner on the attack trying to find into to Kevin Mahoney slips the ground inside the 45 is it going to be free yes says the referee and Kevin Mahoney there it'll suit belly gunner here in this break up and play like they're still there's still one another belly gunner fella gone down there um, 1 7 to 6 points up like, you know, so the momentum is suit belly gunner they get the half time regroup and come out in the second half Aid McGrath the jewel star of course half forward on the county winning football team who beat commercials in a replay gets the ball long breaking down now Paddy Levy slips to the ground being closely marked by Tomas McGrath the game. national school teacher he's son of Taffy the selector it's a very close knit team in Lockmore and the referee yeah. comes right in and is free in about 35 metres out 35 out Paddy Levy touched the ball on the ground here and so he didn't mm. like you know he, 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 kind of, he kind of turned his body next to me touched it the referee wouldn't see it but fair loose to the referee saw it I think in fairness the linesman was signal as well but a lot of moting going on here and uh, Tomas McGrath and his midfield partner Kieran Connolly there 
One is son of the coach, one is son of the selector, Taffy. So uh, their dads are, are on the line, urging them on. They're keeping the concentration. One seven to six points. That means Belly Gunner lead by four as we approach half time. 27 and a half minutes. John McGrath, he's already scored four. One time All Star, one All Ireland medal, but he dearly loved a Munster medal for his club. He's beloved. Lockmore yeah. nails that one perfectly over the bar number five for the man top scorer in the championship with 7.72 you can see why then yeah, met that beautifully that's that so he's, he's, he's still one on one inside here and that's the worry you have with Barry he nearly caught a ball there off Barry and he was gone if he turned him but again Philip is staying close to him Socky has options on the puck over the extra man and of course the big news in case you've just joined it 22 minutes in Noel McGrath was given a red car so Lockmore are down to 14 men on the 28 minute in this first half Ball from the puck out way over on the far side. Oh, Lee McGrath. What a pick up, lads. What a pick up by Lee McGrath. Of course, corner forward and the football team. He has all the skills. Philip the cuts it off. That's Philip Mahoney for, for the Warford Champions. Out to the middle of the field. Snapped up there by Billy O'Keefe. Trying to get that ball away. That ball goes to Philip Mahoney. Philip gets it out to Paddy Levy. Paddy, but Lockmore have the extra numbers in defence. And away comes halfback Brian McGrath. Got a great goal in the county final. Gets it in the corner forward. Ed Connolly came on as a sub in the football last week. He works the ball back to John Maher. Big John sends it down into the corner. Covering across is Ronan Power there. Took a bit of time with that one, Ronan, but they win that ball back. Back to Ian Kenny. Good play by the 28-year-old. Out as far. Billy O'Keefe, younger brother of Saki the goalie. He's back in his own 45, even though he's wearing 13 in his back. Numbers don't mean as much as they did all those years ago. Down into Porrick Mahoney oh. now. He's out around the middle of the field. High ball in for Kevin Mahoney. Not the best of all, but Kevin does well to win it. Can he get away from his marker? Can he get a shot in? Under pressure. Takes the shot. Kevin Mahoney sends it over the bar. That's a brilliant score by Kevin Mahoney. The pressure was on him there, Dan. He's an under-20 star. He's a man for the future. That's a great score. Yeah, great score, Kieran, from Kevin. And he's one one he'd have to get in today, Kieran. Great ball from Parry too for a diagonal ball in Dizzy himself inside. Kevin got it this time and over the back. He had to work for that one and he got it. One eight to seven. They lead by four. We approach the half time whistle. Ball dropped inside of 45, running onto it. There's Kieran Connolly, the midfielder, the 37 year old. He's been along for a long while and he wins himself for free and he punches the air there. Block more are up for it. And very often, as I mentioned earlier, the sending off a player like the quality of player of Norman McGrath can actually yeah. inspire Les Day. Again, Kieran, I thought Ian Kenny was harshly treated there. He won a ball, came out with the tackle, and next minute he blew. As you said there, Kieran, sometimes the 14 get the benefit, get the small calls now, and I think. The referee is giving not more, a few of them calls. Two minutes of additional time goes up on the board from the fourth official down here. The man going to take this free on the 65. Hitting into the country end here is John McGrath. What a different vista we have. We look across here. Years ago, there was Dempsey's cows. Now we call, we can see his housing estates <laughs> over on the far side. But it's the pitch here in Fraherfield we're concentrating on. And on one, John McGrath, the all-star forward, the tip star. The nails it over the black spot. Over it goes. Number six for John McGrath. And they'll be happy going into the half-point break. 188 points they brought it back to three then yeah Kieran and, and let's not forget no, Stephen O'Keefe's not making two fantastic saves and they have 14 men as we mentioned earlier Noel McGrath gone off but they've really really upped the gear in this second quarter Stephen O'Keefe looking for options not too many Connor Sheen comes out oh well read by Connor high tackle in there by John McGrath again but Lockmore men come away with the ball it's midfielder Kieran Connolly he didn't connect on that one well out comes Stephen O'Keefe good play by Saki the Bank of Ireland man leaves the ball across to cornerback Tyg Foley nephew of Shane O'Sullivan of course cousin of the man he's over to the far side Brian McGrath is there Brian tries to pick it up he's on his knees he's near the sideline play hands says the referee there but I think the linesman is very close to the action can somebody get it into their hand there there's four five players there's a bit of a loose rock could be Munster Rugby in action over on the far side, but I think, thankfully, the referee has blown up. Dan, it amazed me the way prayer, uh, refs leave it develop when you know that nothing's yeah, going to come out. Yeah, it's going to come out. Again, Kieran, I suppose, damned if you, damned if you don't, yeah. we, 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 we'd be saying the referee should blow in, but next maybe we're saying you have a chance, but again, it's terrible conditions. Yeah, thrown in 30 metres out from the scoreboard corner, kicking the ball down into that scoreboard corner as Parik Mahoney tries to flick that ball back, gets it back to Kevin, the younger brother. Kevin works the ball back on not the best of passes now, putting under pressure. His own teammate under pressure and ball is towards the middle of the field. Was there a foul? Yes, says the referee. But I've noticed, Dan, since, the, since Noel McGrath was, has exited the, the fair, anything going is going to let more. Yeah, again, Kieran, you're right. But I think Bally Gunner have been very casual, Kieran. They've been overplaying it there once or twice. They're mishitting balls. You there. think they should go more direct? Yeah, Lee McGrath worked very hard. I got a point. I know it's tough. A tough point for John McGrath, but his capability, Kieran, they won't want to have time for this, Kieran. So John McGrath takes his time with this one. The 27 year old, younger brother of Noel McGrath brother also of Brian McGrath three McGraths their dad Pat hurled back in the heydays with Tipperary as a cornerback 
as John takes the All shot the and over. John sends it over the bar. His dad might have been a cornerback, but John and Noel are ace forward. Six, seven score for him. It's back to a two point game. Then. Once, one eight to nine points. So one eight to nine points. Benny going to lead by two, but uh, that second quarter, Lockmore will be the happier. They will kill, sorry, because they're, they're, they're going into the second half with a bit of a breeze there, so they are. They know tight games, they know they have to have the physicality to resist, but no, but the, the sending off of Noel McGrath here has really changed the game, but you can hear the supporters here, Ken. Belly going a little bit worried here, and they're a small bit worried with 14. They were playing better when they, when they had the 15 v 15, to be honest with you, like, you know, but again, Belly Gunner, Belly Gunner, they've soaked up everything, they'll regroup at half time. They get that analysis from, from the lads in the stand and they'll, they'll go again after after second So half. it's 1 8 to 9 points. Belly Gunner lead by 2, but Lockmore are down to 14 men. All to play for in the second half. Join us for first half analysis and all the action of that second half after the break. The big match on WLR with George Corbett Skoda.
So the teams are back out. The floodlights are on. Thankfully, Sean Michael makes his way back up the county chairman with two warm cups of coffee down into the blue seats down under this. The rain is clear, but the wind is still blowing and favouring. Lockmore in the second half, ball in for the second half. Mahoney picks it and goes. Good play by the centre half forward, Mikey Mahoney. Down into the corner, go to Desi on the 20. He's faced by a, a, a defender, turns to his left, in front of Larkin Egan. He started the second, the way he started the first, brilliant from Desi. Yeah, Keon, I was only saying it there about 10 minutes ago, it's the same start. He went out quite, that Lockmore got on top. Next minute, first minute of the second half, he puts a point over the bar. So Stephen O'Keefe. The long puck out, one there by Paddy Levy. What's Paddy going to do with it? Turns the ball and sends it down into the corner, but cut off inside there by the half back line. Maher, the centre half back, gets the ball down to the half forward. And what can they do here? They're under a bit of pressure. They're shooting from distance. They take their oh, no, shot wait, and it's gone over the bar there. Hey, a lot Lee. more, give them half a chance. The midfielder ran onto that ball very well and sends it over the bar then. Yeah, great score, Kieran. Point for point, Kieran, so far. So the both teams have really had out the rest rooms. So Saki, Stephen O'Keefe with the puck out against the strong wind. Will he go short? Will he go long? Long is the route. He picks Singlet down the right-hand side for Mikey Manny. Paddy Levy trying to go into the breaking ball. But the midfielder there picks it up well, Kieran Connolly. Oh, half block down there. That's good play by Peter Hogan. Flicks the ball away. What can Belly Gunner do with here? Low ball into Desi. They're the ones he likes. In front of his mark inside the 13 metre line stand side country in end of the goal under a bit of pressure there's two defenders there coming in to help him is Mikey or Kevin Mahoney Kevin Mahoney keeping the pressure on the man who picks it up is midfielder Tomas McGrath out to the middle of the field hard pulling there by Evan Sweeney dangerous pulling I would think picking up the ball is Tyke Foley who's come well out to pick up the ball in there is Evan Sweeney inside the 45 Connor Sheehan wins it Connor gets the ball over did he foul that pass yes says the referee Peter Hogan is down in the ground a bit of afters there but it's a free out was that a harsh call then? was there yeah, contact? Kieran, I thought it was contact again but I said it earlier Kieran. 14 v 15 these, these are going to get the calls like you know so who's to know the referee has been told at half time he made a mistake Kieran. do you know what I'm saying to you? So, but again thought it was harsh enough a lot of hard hitting going on Kieran. Uh, the football side of Lockmore is coming out <laughs> so it is but it can't it's look Aidan it's McGrath it's coming up of course they have 15 senior football they have 4 senior hurling won a double back in 2013 but now they've won a double or 2007 now they've won a double this year they're going along with the ball McGrath the keeper down near the dressing room corner picking up inside Barry Coughlin trying to come out with that ball getting the ball away out to the half pa- Paddy Levy has come back deep to win that one good play by Paddy bit of overplay but play answers the referee what can they do with this one Mahoney has it now ball and his stick there but did he show too much with their power man he lose position ball breaks as far as Evan Sweeney he's on the 45 off his shoulder is another man wearing white and wearing red and green more importantly it's the halfback Tommy Maher Tommy goes for a shot from the sideline Tommy Maher sends it over the bar not quite sure the far umpire there but he was signalling there but it's gone over the bar then yeah he's calling in someone Kieran I said yeah, there was a bit of afters there. It's 1 9 to 11. It's 12 points to 11, but that umpire on the left hand side saw something then. <laughs> they see the things they shouldn't see, Kieran, and they won't see the things. That's an un- un- unbelievable score there from, from Tommy Maher, Kieran. Unbelievable walk there, but Ian Kenny was kind of lucky coming out there. He gave a tournament title, um, Kieran. I don't think it's that. Then it's down to a one question. point game. It's 1 9 to 11. Belly Gunner were cruising early on, Barry 1 5 Cockton, to a point. Barry Cockton is being called. Or is it um, Ty Gnos Barry, I'm sure, is it? Barry Coughlin seems to be the man walking over the long walk for the accountant. Six foot four, full back. Didn't see the colour from there. Again, Kieran. Uh, is it yellow? Yellow card, yeah. yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, again, Kieran, do you know, Barry's under pressure now on, on John McGrath. Like, again, but I didn't see that no the way they these, these fellas seem to see what they want and don't say what they want after that. The floodlights are on. The shadows are getting long here as the ball breaks to Peter Hogan, bursting onto the Teva man. He has speed, gets the ball into Mahoney. Desi is there as well under D. Desi has it in his hand. What's Desi trying to do? Two men literally hanging out of him. A play on, says the referee. Desi still has the ball. He hits the deck into help him as Mikey Mahoney. They're inside the Lockmore D, but it's a Lockmore man comes away with it. Lockmore there to the roars of the big crowd from North Tip. Has made the long journey to Dungarvan. They're leading their self speed herd. Cut off at the other side. Philip Mahoney sends a lovely ball down the right hand side there towards Kevin Mahoney, the younger brother. Was he fouled? Yes, says the referee. But that lovely ball from Philip there. Won that ball well. Lovely low ball. A forward's delight there. Yeah, great ball in there from, from Philip Mahoney up the line. Great work from, from, from again, Kieran Connolly was having a great game midfield for Lockmore, Kieran. Um, but again, a lovely free for Parry. So uh, Parry, of course, set, set in belly gunner to part of the eight in a row team, of course, 
the club has been in a record 10 final they just have two Munster titles to show for that they have a 43 match unbeaten run in Waterford but it's Munster they're eyeing and have been for a while but this is a semi-final they have to get over this one to get to a final the free over on the far side Pori to take it I believe it's Kilmallock came through in the other semi-final against Middleton but all the concentration here is on Belly Gunner and is on Pori Mahoney five metres in from the far side and against the strong gale force wind hitting into the country end steadies himself puts the feet planks him on the ground has he pulled it oh left and wide he'll be disappointed with that third wide for Belly Gunner score remains 1-9 to 11 Belly Gunner just lead by one Dan yeah, lead by one Kieran, uh, and you put your house in Parry there but again we don't know the wind that's down there Kieran. Yeah, it's know, pretty so strong looking at the flag the tricolour is nearly picked up, Kieran. departing the, the post over on the far side ball drop Paddy Levy he's played a lot of ball in the middle of the field the under 20 star blue and white helmet marks the ball away to Mahoney who likes to roam with the ball lovely ball he's looking for Desi is it too high for Desi Desi runs out and catches that he's got inside the D Desi inside the 20 there's an option here what's the option oh he was hooked behind this is a penalty yes says the referee but brilliant by Desi there one of the smallest forwards that's in there up between the big backs caught it one thing on his mind foul the penalty he's rolling around in agony but they have a penalty then they do, Kieran, but again, what a ball, um, diagonal ball. He was up, with the, up against two, Kieran, caught the ball brilliantly, but I can assure you, Kieran, from a forward, when you're coming onto the ball like that, it favours the forward because the back doesn't know what to do when you're two fellas in front of you. What a catch in Daisy. Lovely for, ball. For me, Kieran, the turn, bang, down the middle, takes the punishment. One of the lot more lads tried to trip him. Footwork gone, penalty, massive, could be massive in the game yeah. uh, Stephen so O'Keefe is up Stephen O'Keefe is up Desi is a handful Stephen O'Keefe coming up to take it got a goal in the Munster final when it was really needed they need this one the referee John Murphy tell them move the ball back in goal is Aidan McGrath we're heading into the country and Stephen O'Keefe Saki to take this one he bends he lifts he strikes bullet oh, wide. oh it's wide right and wide what a let off for the men from Lockmore. He hit it with everything he had. Right and wide, Dan. Yeah, Kieran. Oh. Strange from the sock, to be honest with you. Um, at least you try and get him on target. That'll be hugely yeah, for Lockmore. Massive, Dan. yeah, Kieran. You hear the crowd down now. Mac Nick, this poker is massive. 37 minutes gone here. 1 9 to 11. Penalty miss by Stephen O'Keefe, who's made his way back down the field and into goal. He'll be disappointed with that. But he's a man can recover from disappointment. Ronan Power, the young wing, wing back, sends a ball into Desi in that corner. Desi now being policed by Joey Hennessy, the full back. Sends a lovely diagonal ball. Well, cut off by Brian McGrath. Well read by the half back. Brother, of course, younger brother of John and Noel. Noel, of course, watching from the sideline, having got a red in the first half. 14 men, Lockmore. 15 men from Belly Gunners. Lockmore men have the ball. And they have the wind to their backs and they have their tails up at the moment. They trail by one. But they're a fighting team. Mahoney gets the ball across. Lovely ball across to Billy O'Keefe. Oh, Billy in space and sends it over the bar. Mikey Mahoney showed great vision there. Over his shoulder into Billy O'Keefe. And the one-time defender now is forward. Sends it over the bar. Great score, score. score. Great score for oh. Belly Gunner. Great score for Billy O'Keefe. Great work, Kim. Mikey did great, some massive work there. Massive, kill, massive score for Billy Gunner. So that's it. 110 to 11. A two-point gap. Two point in a game like this is agony for oh, anyone to bad. watch. Picked up inside. Ronan Power good clearance by the under 20 star broken down to inside the 65 coming on to it is Tommy Maher Maher has the ball did he foul it into Pickett did up to Hurley and Parik Mahoney was there but Parik was back the man to pick up that ball was Parik Mahoney the then unbelievable Kieran. He's, 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 he's knowledge of the game Kieran. he's back now he's on 45 but he's, when he's down there Kieran, he's creating space for the boys above that's the big thing great positional sense and, and a great reader of the game so he's taking the free himself whether he should be or not it's, time will tell but it's against the win he's trying to play the ball to his younger brother Kevin who's coming way across the under 20 but out over the line there the wind is blowing the ball that way so the yes. intention was good but unfortunately the execution wasn't Brendan Kieran uh, thinking because if he had won the ball he's 1-1 one one with Brian McGrath um, so he was a young man but again um, just the wind took it over yeah the wind is really just more blowing diagonally across the field blowing literally down into the dressing room anyone familiar with Farfield down into the dressing room scoreboard corner it's favouring Lockmore in the second half 39 minutes 110 to 11 you're listening to George Corbett's goal. It's a Munster semi final. Can the Gunners make it back to a Munster final? Or will Lock more Castellini keep that dream alive that started 19 weeks ago? Ball back. Philip Mahoney puts them on the attack. That's the Gunners. Inters Desi. Ball breaks. Picking up the break is Brian McGrath. Coming more and more into it. Younger of the McGrath brothers sends it long. They're going direct through. Broken ah, down. Say, oh, Philip did, came from nowhere to win that ball, but he also made two Lock more Castellini men. It's outside the D. Have they the ball in their hand? They have to get the ball away. Good play. Connor Sheehan lovely play by the midfielder 
he's dead well known in the Garda force will be happy I'm sure he's here today as the ball goes on oh. to Mikey Mahoney Mikey Mahoney steps, side steps the man ball got into Desi Desi catches his marker Desi's trying to get away from his marker he turns flicks the ball on to Mahoney with the shot Mahoney goal Mahoney goal Desi had the ball had the vision to give it and give it to the right man Mikey Mahoney the motor from De La Salle gets a goal with a sneed and 40 minutes gone then Desi set it up Mikey finished unbelievable Kieran um, great finish massive from Desi could have went on himself but he didn't Great finish from young Mahoney, Kevin, Kevin Mahoney, or Mikey Mahoney actually, but again, I thought Kieran there was a foul in the play there for, of going in for that, definitely number, and as a blood sub, he was foul definitely number seven, Brian McGrath was taking all of it, Kieran for that goal. The vision of Desi that another man would have tried to hold on to, but then, like yourself, he could see out the corner of his yeah, eye he, and he, give it to the right man. He had to get the pass and a massive pass, but again, yeah. Kieran, I'm on about that foul, I cannot oh. believe that. Brian McGrath has gone yeah Brian McGrath has gone off with a blood sub there and do you think goal. the belly gunner could have I'd, been in trouble I'd, no I just thought it was a free out oh sorry I yeah. a, so I did I thought it was a free out but again they're a lucky knee here to win Munster, Munster Championship games and what player from Daisy Hutchinson inside to see Manny at the corner of his eye what a finish Kieran first time ball Kieran McCormack is coming on he's an experienced campaigner played right throughout the Tipperary Championship L- played well against Turles Sarsfields both draw and replay they normally use him as an impact sub they're also warming up 24 Eddie Maher his brother already on the team so the Maher clan Eddie and John now on the team the these officials here in fairness to the mentors then they're just getting totally frustrated I, I, I think there's more administrators down there than actually people that need to be there ball now to Peter Hogan from that breaking ball Peter number 12 when he's back away goes the Teva man the speed merchant the yellow helmet tries to flick a ball away to Kevin there Riley not <laughs> when it works is great but that time bit of overplay by him they had he could have even went for a shot but instead he tried to do the perfect pass in these conditions that's difficult but McGrath clears the lines cut off at the other end Philip Mahoney lovely ball but running across to it is Larkin Egan the engineer Sends it out towards the middle of the field. Caught in the middle of the field by the lot more man. Maher is going for a long one. It's gone left and wide then. Yeah, left yeah, and wide. Yeah. The rain is coming back, but it hasn't affected the score line. It's 2-10 to 11 then. That's 16 yeah, points to 11. Kieran, uh, the one thing I'm noticing about a lot more, I think the legs are going, Kieran. I'll be honest with you, I think the, the, the 19 weeks is catching up now. Um, I see him chasing back the players there. They're slow getting back. They're slow now on the ball, Kieran, and it's going to catch right. up with them. So I, I, I don't think... I think here in this one finishing 14 v 15 either if I'm being honest with you because a lot of hard titles going in there from Lockmore McGrath coming on he got a late call up on for Liam Tracy really didn't have much of an no. impact really and uh, I think they're, they're wise but as you say this will test them 19 weeks in a row extra time last weekend extra time in the Hurling County final can they keep going the Lockmore machine but they're a team dig deep and when their backs are to the wall is when they're most dangerous ball in the middle the rain is coming down in sheets here now it had cleared for a while 42 and a half minutes 2.10 to 11 you're listening to George Corbett score the big match it's the men from Lockmore Lee McGrath sends it down into the full forward line what can they do with it inside well read inside by Barry Coughlin he's down on his knees so too is Philip and Philip man he just comes out and wins that ball give me the ball he says and I'll take it away from there the De La Salle Moon Tour gets it on to the younger brother the younger brother is Kevin Mahoney what's Kevin going to do into Desi Desi now oh lovely touch off the hurley by the Brighton star aren't we glad he came back from his surgeon across the sea oh my god it's brought down by the keeper there thought it was gone back over the line looked a certain score the wind and driving wind and rain held it up Aidan McGrath the goalie brought it down and managed it to clear it away looked a certain score for Desi but in the end McGrath was up to it in this driving wind and rain so Belly Gunner are facing into the driving wind and driving rain as we speak 43 minutes free out again and relief for Belly Gunner but Philip Mahoney has really come in when they're needed back yeah, to the wall he, Philip has stood up he's awesome Kieran. he was unbelievable last week from, so he was uh, Peter Hogan is injured but again yeah, he's Peter gone. Peter in a bit of trouble and uh, if a man is gone I think you just have to take him off on a day like today they have the extra man don't forget if you've just joined us Lockmore are down to 14 men from the middle of the yeah. field Connolly goes with the Four, shot yeah. and Connolly sends it over the bar but Peter Hogan I think will have to come off not quite sure if it's hamstring or whatever but he looks in trouble and, uh, but yeah, he's, he's staying on again Kieran Philip kind of panicked there diagonal ball a lot more won it down the field it's his third point in a row now third, sorry third point today Kieran Connolly's having a great game there midfield so it's uh, Some conditions, okay. 2 10 to 12 then it's 16 points to 12 now the referee is complaining that Saki took time with the puck out yeah, Kieran, it's uh, driving wind and rain then it's very hard even to say oh but what's, is he going to throw the ball in here again it's a f- that's a bit panickety now in these conditions ah, it is Kieran if I'm being honest with you like what's the throwing Kieran 
So the ball is thrown in on the belly gunner, 20 metre line. That's a dangerous one. Looks like Ronan Power, the man tried to get into his hand there with that red helmet. The driving wind of rain. Visibility very, very poor. We're looking up here, but what must be like for the players down there? Who has the ball? It's a man in black and red. It's Paddy Levy back there again for a young yeah. man, Dan. He's really yeah, had he's a storm. Play, he's playing well, Ken. He's on a lot of ball here. He does the simple things right, Paddy. So he does. He's not in spectacular. Look at the jersey of Barry Cotton. Kieran, it, it, the wind and rain is up. It's way under like. Yeah, Paddy did well there, the UCC man. He'll be happy with his performance. So will Dara Sullivan. He's the Bonnie Store. David Franks, of course, huge impact since his arrival from Offaly. Rory O'Sullivan, Patrick Harn, Pat Sullivan there as well. So, and a day like today, you remember Charlie Loughlin, Frankie King, Pat, Pat O'Sullivan, Pat McCarthy, and Pat Flynn, of course, all those greats. And then you think of the great Niall Warren, who I was a big fan of over the years, the great Niall Warren, and of course, Paul Foley and Gary Murphy. So, on days like today, you remember these people then? 100% Kieran. I would have the honour of playing Paul Foley, so he did a great man. So he was. Yeah, what a servant he was of club and county, and of course, Strabley as well. but was part of the team that won the Munster title in 0-1 today they lead by 4 2-10 to 12 lot more on the attack coming near the second Waterford break one inside there <laughs> that's unbelievable play yeah Shane O'Sullivan again Kieran the referee couldn't let the go he had the Shane O'Sullivan is really like as the game is progressing he's 36 years of age he's the oldest on their team but my god that was brilliant when it was needed probably the oldest game, but I guarantee he's probably the fittest you know what I'm saying so he inspires excellence as the name of his company another substitute coming on is Kieran McCormack he got a point the last day he came on against Turles Sarsfields he's been around the block before he's You're an experienced here. Oh, you know, Carl McCormack, uh, number 19, yeah. So yeah, see what happened there. You Keen know. McCormack, yeah, got a point, as I say, when he came on in the final, in the county final against Turles Star. Stephen O'Keefe comes out to take it. Saki, the all star keeper, sending it long, high dropping ball in around the danger zone. Desi's in there, but a high ball to Desi and driving wind and rain isn't the optimum for the key corner forward for Belly Gunner Kieran Connolly he's played brilliantly for them but only out as far as Paddy Levy steadies himself 55 metres out drills it but it's gone right and wide Dan it's easy from up here Dan I presume yeah. but driving wind and rain into your face the referee blows his whistle it's the water break it's the second Waterford break it's 2-10 to 12 Dan yeah. it's real edge of the seat stuff just on Paddy Levy there Kieran he did, he did three as Derek would say one time 10-20 yards in front of him of grass to go into it like, and pull over the bar but he hit it on instinct like you know and look again it's, it's it's coming to the water break again. First half, Lockmore came out stronger. But then goals win matches, Kieran. Bally Good have got two. Lockmore have got none of the heads. One or two chances there in the first half. But then that goal was absolutely crucial. Mikey Mahoney's yeah, goal. Yeah. The vision of, to first of all, win at Desi Hudson, who's been outstanding now out in front of his marker area. High dropping ball, wins the ball, had the vision, saw Mikey outside him, and Mikey made no mistake back in it. That was a crucial score on 40 minutes. Yeah, Kieran, definitely, Kieran, to, to be honest, which is a, which was a great, was great from. Um, Desi Hutchinson's side, he's, he's, his awareness, Kieran, is, is, is unbelievable. Like, you know, his skill level, his brain. See the Valley Gunner lads down there now, they're having a chat. Do you know, they see this as some opportunity, Kieran, against Kilmallock next week after Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it is to, to, to get to, to where they want to go. But this is the final quarter, Dan. They're, they're in the home set. A lot more guys are down there. Mick Dempsey, if anyone knows how yeah, to yeah, ride the team. Part of the great Kilkenny four in a row team with Brian Cody. The Leash County footballer. He's a driven man and done huge work in Carlow IT. He believes in these lads. They believe in him. They have 15 minutes to 14 men a lot more to turn over the, yeah. the, the hot favourites. Dempsey's given them to Kieran. He's given them, he's asking himself a one last effort. They say they're after a massive year, so they as you say, Kieran, what a man. He knows all about fitness and how to get fit and how to keep fit. So he is no better man. He's done it at the highest level with Kilkenny. Now he's doing it with Lockmore. One man did it at the highest level today. Michael Power, Michal Power from uh, Dungarvan, and West Warford AC. One goal at the European Championships. Well done to him and all the family and all involved in West Warford AC. What a fantastic achievement. Winning gold at the European Championship. But yeah. today it's all about a monster semi-final, Dan, for these men. They're concentrating. It's the last quarter, Dan. It's huge for both sides. It's a massive game. McGrath with the puck out. That's Aiden down their left. He's the Lockmore man. Gone over to that far side, trying to keep the ball in play. Is is Lee McGrath, but uh, very hard to see from here who picks it up. It looks like John Maher has come forward to win that ball. Ball gone in now as Connolly's gone through again. They're in space. They have a chance of a goal here. This could be very, very dangerous. Ball gone into the corner. Take their shot. Oh, Saki was up to it there. Kieran McCormack, the substitute, took a blaster. Saki has done it for a third time. He was there and was needed. Very difficult angle, but Saki was up to it. Ball back. Maher again drives it back with interest. This has gone left and wide. That's where I think it has gone. That's exactly where it's gone. Left and wide. What a save again by Saki, Kieran, then. People don't understand the conditions, Kieran, of a white ball striking into the ground. It's saving O'Keefe. 
And in fairness and to McCormack, stuck it well then. Yeah, he stuck it well, Kieran. Stephen O'Keefe doing his job, and he covered his near post, got it down away from danger. Stephen O'Keefe with the puck out. The belly gunner, Bank of Ireland, what has plucked out of here by Maher, coming more into it, the centre back. When he was needed, he's really coming strong into it. They're looking for it inside for Lee McGrath's in there, but it's one inside by Belly Gunner, near to Belly Gunner D. This is danger zone. There's bodies on the ground, referee looking in, but he's not blowing the whistle. I'm sure he might have to throw it in, but can anybody get it into their hand? It's real sticky, gluey conditions. The rain, thankfully, is eased, but the conditions are as sticky as ever. Ball gone over. Thurs McCormick, he takes the shot, and it's left and wide. Wide number six for the men from Lockmore. They'll be disappointed with that, yeah, then. Yeah, that's two in a row now, on, on your near post. They always say, Kieran, don't put it right on your own side. This is the 19th week, then. This is where yeah. this could really, they can really be tested. This is where Belly Gunner should pre on some fresh things, in my view, and really yeah, run at him good, now. Good, good point, Kieran. So ball from the yeah. puck out way over on the far side. No substitute yet on the Belly Gunner. I see Barry O'Sullivan coming down. Son of Billy, he was man, our captain. When they won it in 0-1, of course, brother of Rory and of Shane and Mike and Billy, son Barry, will be coming on very shortly. But it's Lockmore coming away with it. Brian McGrath, he's really lifted the siege now that his brother is no longer in play. Connolly in the second half, coming on to big John Maher. The two of them, those three actually in around that middle third have been brilliant. They have the ball again. Back in helping is Mikey Mahoney, battling hard. The young centre forward, the Moon Tour at De La Salle, over on the far side of the field there. Right. gone over the line but good hard tackling there by Belly Gunner working the ball back Petty Levy now steadying the, the ship inside his own into Desi is it the right height for Desi Desi turned his marker oh just can't get into his hand on that second hand was it foul play on says the referee Lockmore men down under us roaring for a free there John Maher and Brian McGrath combine and Lockmore lift the siege 2-10 to 16 points Belly Gunner lead by 4 we enter the last uh, 10 11 minutes of this monster semi final. Belly Gunner cleared the lines. Philip Mahoney down into the right hand corner. Looking for a younger brother, Mikey Booth, out over the line. And you can see there, Kieran, the 14 v 15. Belly Gunner soaking up everything they like, you can know. And Lockmore have to go along, Kieran, because the pressure they're under from Belly Gunner to their credit are working hard. Um, so they are. But again, Philip Mahoney sitting there. Barry Cotton doing a brilliant job there in the full back line. Ian Kinney has been outstanding today, Kieran Corner back. So, so yes, I even see now John McGrath has got out to field Kieran so that's yes. super going up because he's not close to goal Barry O'Sullivan about to come on so Shane O'Sullivan will have no less than six nephews on the team with yeah, him which is incredible but Barry was part of the team that won Munster a couple of years ago but a uh, hard working player son of Billy as I mentioned earlier and uh, he'll be he'll be anxious to to make a stamp in this Munster semi-final and Peter Hogan wins the ball thought he'd come off a few minutes ago with a, a leg injury but he's, he's run off that injury and he's still to the four inside the Lockmore 45 stopwatch says 50 minutes 2.10 to 12 Belly Gunner lead by four the wind still as strong as ever the rain has stopped is going to be free out and relief for Lockmore they take it quickly half back Brian McGrath takes it without any fuss dropping inside the danger zone covering back is oh. Barry Coughlin can he get a stand on, on the ground did Barry foul that play on says the referee tried to scoop it into his hand penalty there there's a penalty here did they foul it? Yes, says the referee. A penalty here. Barry Cockton was on the ground. He tried to roll lift. Oh, no, there's someone gone here, Kieran. There's someone struck. The umpire have his hand out again. So the umpire has, has his hand out. We saw him take a card earlier. Physios are running in, but uh, there's 51 minutes gone. The referee outstretched his hands. He sees a penalty, but the umpire saw something else, and there's a belly gunner man down, and it's Barry Cockland is down on his knees, the joint yeah, captain. Yeah, Barry, I'd say, Kieran, yeah, I think Barry doesn't go down, so he doesn't. Um, this will be interesting, Kieran. Barry was trying to actually roll lift the ball in the mud, and think players came in to help him, and Philip, then yeah, Philip, Philip came in. in. And he got caught. No, it's a harsh penalty, Kieran. It's a harsh penalty. I won't allow you. Um, so oh, it's yeah. inside the 20 Barry I think, I, I, Barry. I think John McGrath's in trouble here the two McGrath's get the line here so uh, and Lee McGrath actually Lee McGrath was around the vicinity as well but who's the referee going to call us John McGrath he's talking to John John got a yellow earlier on he's having a good chat with John, John but it's yeah. red for John second yellow and red so John McGrath so the two McGrath brothers have gone to the line second red mm-hmm. for one all-star First red for Noel in the first half for the treble yeah. all-star. And I see the two Steve, McGrath brothers Steve, are gone. I see Steve O'Keefe straight away singing to, for a switch in the full back line. So Barry Cockton must be hurt because he doesn't go down, Kieran. Oh, he was struck. Yeah. I didn't see that happen now, but I so, always say, Kieran, I know it is tough on V14, V15, but discipline is so massive in these occasions and in every game because... Do you know you're, you're kind of leaving everyone down when you do get the right but you're looking at the like of Eddie Hayden to bring on I you presume Eddie, Jesus, no, Barry, oh, right, Barry O'Sullivan really but Eddie Hayden is the man I'd be looking at bringing him on and bringing him on quickly you would but 
thing. You might have yeah. got Kieran Two McGraths are gone. No, it's number 21. So the two McGraths are gone. Ball Devastation for the McGrath. Yeah, yeah, John McGrath takes off the blue helmet. He walks to the line. 19 weeks. They've won the two county titles. And now are they going to exit the Munster hurling? They exited the football last week. He's shaking his head. He's annoyed with himself. He said, he's shaking his head and he's just saying to the mentors, they're on the line. To Frankie McGrath, what happened there? But on comes. Barry O'Sullivan a big chance for Barry 53 minutes gone Barry O'Sullivan on for Belly Gunner at this stage hello of course to a young man up in Galway who listened to every puck and that's young Fiona O'Connor and he'll be happy with leading by four points for the Gunners as Belly Gunner make that substitution and Barry O'Sullivan is on and I think it's uh, Ronan Power or is it Billy O'Keefe is the man being called Billy ashore Billy is being called ashore and the ball in the end did that ball go left and wide then? Wide again, Kieran. Yeah, but again, Kieran, you just saw it there, Kieran. Um, John McGrath had a penalty, struck out, makes him a throw in ball. Do you know, it changed the whole complexion of the game, look, Kieran. The whole Eddie Hayden warming up. Barry Coughlin doesn't look happy. And as you've mentioned, Danny, Dan earlier, Barry doesn't go down easy. He went down. Billy O'Keefe comes off. He got a good point, got the goals last in the last day when it was needed. He comes off. Fresh legs are on. The scoreboard. 2.10 to 12 the time 54 minutes is the free over on the far side it's outside about 55 metres out very near the sideline but this will keep the clock ticking it's down really Kieran Belly going to want this like, you know, I, think, I think this is Eddie Hayden first game Kieran is it he's been away yeah, all year he, he only commanded the last yeah, that, day yeah. that's, that's yeah. unbelievable when you have a t- fella up and to like two or three years ago, he's He's county, yeah. He's yeah, into county know, class, so, so having the like of him, it just shows you back with a the, bench. The panel, yeah, I thought he was gone until, until next year, Kieran, but what a sub to bring on. Like, you yeah, know Billy what? O'Keefe, as I say, did well, took the point in the first half, got the two goals the last day when they were needed, but it's a big chance now for Eddie Hayden as Parik Mahoney takes this free. Three metres in from the sideline. It'll be some free if it goes over. Just the wind just held it up and McGrath was up to it in the goal. Of course, football, county final. Uh, star McGrath in goal in the hurling outfield in the football and he sends a long ball out to the middle of the yeah. field Kieran Kieran Connolly has it and free there yeah to, to Kieran I think long more kind of um, Ed Connolly the discipline, is, the discipline is kind of going here a lot it's more 2-10 to, to, to 12 honest, points they're not happy and ever since the Norm McGrath sending yeah. off they haven't been happy on the line there's been a lot of argy bargy with fort officials and with some of the mayors and stewards they're on I, the line I never see so many stewards and, and officials down on the line before in my life Kieran <laughs> Left yeah, and, and, and right. I, I've played a lot of games. Yeah. I've been online a lot. There's too many people. Can be frustrating for the management team down there, Dan. Look, there's, oh, there's these, more, I see. I see one lad down here. Council and joking with fellas coming out of the field. Fellas don't want to be joking out of the field, Kieran. They want to be serious. They're taking stuff serious. And I see the some lad down the town to come out of the field. Yeah, a lot of officials there. Very crowded sideline. We tried to strip it down. The substitutes are up in the stand, but a lot of officials down the field as the driving rain comes back. 55 minutes, 210 to 12. Belly Gunner leading by four. Over to the far side. Barry O'Sullivan who's just come on tries to get the ball into his hand 20 metres out Mahoney has it now from what can he do it trying to make room for himself swings the ball back to Conor Sheehan Conor outside the 45 steadies himself hadn't much room turns has a look takes his shot or oh, sends it left and wide wide number 6 for the Gunners score remains 2-10 to 12 Dan 56 minutes yeah, 4 minutes Kieran, left yeah the Kieran they're in cruise control your belly Gunner Kieran it's theirs now to lose to be honest with you um, soak up the pressure Aiden McGrath Lock more down to 13 men batted down by Shane O'Sullivan man and ball gets the ball away to Peter Hogan Peter Hogan lovely ball into Desi Desi on the D Desi turns to his left Desi takes his shot and Desi sends it right and wide did everything right there was just going to write it down but right and wide lovely yeah, ball in took it well keep it disappointed with it that because the wind has really blown across the face of the goal really could have took, but again Kieran what a ball from Hogan head high but Desi to his credit catch him more in this weather Kieran yeah he did it all across channel with Brighton he did it as an underrated soccer player for Ireland back to Warford FC but are we glad in Warford hurling circle he's back with the small ball with his bit of a belly gunner Wayne and JJ start and part of that eight in a row but Desi really finished off the eight in a row on the line there's a bit of Argy Bargy there one of the mentors and Darrow Sullivan but I think they're smiling going away from it anyway the ball throws in Shane picks it up the veteran of the team at 36 years old Peter Hogan high tackle by Peter near the sideline the high tackle was Brian, Brian McGrath he's two brothers yeah, already yeah. sent off Brian better watch himself that was a very high tackle yeah Kieran again it's the, as I said Kieran I said it about 15 minutes ago Lockmore wouldn't feel finish here with 14 players their discipline has gone all together here yeah. if I'm being honest with you um, Pat McGrath was a tough cornerback part of the team of course they won back in 81 and 89 the Tipperary County team he was a tough cornerback but he'd be disappointed if two lads sitting up on the bench alongside him down here uh, understand uh, yeah Kieran um, you swear there was 20,000 people here came with all the officials on the line <laughs> 
Yeah, crowd control here. We're coming <laughs> off as Tommy Maher here. But you can see it then, 19 weeks, the sucking yeah. uh, conditions, the sucking out the energy as Parik Mahoney comes back to take this free. The score, 210 to 12, 57 minutes from his own 65 in front of the stand, but he's against a strong wind. Looking inside for Desi, ball breaks towards Mahoney. Mahoney scoops it out to Desi. Desi now turning his marker, tries to get it back to Conor Sheehan. He leaves it to Paddy Levy, his midfield partner, takes a heavy knock. 13 men, a lot more, fighting to the bitter end hard block down over on the far side Barry O'Sullivan showed too much for there and free out and relief for Lockmore 58 and a half minutes 210 to 12 you're listening to George Corbett score the big match we're live on WLR our belly gunner going to make it back to the 11 final it's a record with 10 it'll stretch that record to 11 the driving wind of rain is back here in the far field real test of field 12 for 17 is gone up so it's a uh, 17 coming on is Harry Ruddle, but we'll follow the play. Harry Ruddle will be coming on shortly for Peter Hogan. Levy wins that ball, gets the ball away. Mikey Mahoney, 45 oh, metres out, scoops it away to Conor yes. Sheehan. Conor Sheehan off the shoulder, all way they come. Porrick Mahoney, lovely ball. He's looking for Desi inside. What can Desi do with this one? Doesn't get on the first of them, tries it on the second, and he slips his man. Was he fouled? Play on, says the referee, turns to his left, brilliant. takes his shot. That's absolutely brilliant. It might be driving winning, right? Yeah, here. But he's playing that, that, top of the ground hurling. That to me was scored again, Kieran, from the oh. right full back line up the field. Diagonal ball to Hutchinson. Caught it with a different hurling, Kieran. Holding his hurling a different hand. Oh. Unbelievable score. Peter Hogan Hutchinson. comes off to round across the cross to belly gunner. But Desi Hutchinson showed his brilliance there then, as you said. The conditions aren't for S- Silk and Hurley. No, they're, they're, they're not for if, Desi. If, if, if you did that in the middle of August, you'd be talking would, about it. I would, Kieran. They're not Desi's type of, <laughs> of conditions, if I've been Driving honest. Driving wind and rain, game. and Desi delivers when it was needed. Five points for Desi. Ball now on the attack for Lockmore is 2 11. That's 17 points to 12. We're heading into the 68th minute here. There will be a few minutes of stoppages. Lockmore will fight to the bitter end. Eddie Maher played in the hurling and football campaigns this year, played centre back on the football last weekend and won a football medal when they beat commercials. Ball in the middle of the field. 2 11 to 12. The time the Scotland says we're into injury time. Referee looking at his watch. There's a fourth official down here. There's more officials down here than you'd see at the Patrick's Day Parade <laughs> up in O'Connell Street in Dublin. But uh, substitutes are coming on then. Uh, they're giving the panel a run, Kieran, and, and rightly so. Like they've been outstanding all year. Uh, uh, they've been truly. Yeah. Conor have, McGrath they comes they on, a cousin, of course, of the McGraths, the man coming off, Evan Sheehan. He's given it everything all day. Three minutes of additional time. The score 2 11 to 12. You can only beat what's in front of you. And Belly Gunner, that's what they're having in their mind. Up to the better end ball picked up Doreen Kenny sends the ball down into the corner has Desi come out for this one that's exactly what he has there's a man slipped inside him the man inside him is Harry Ruddle Desi steady himself has a look oh he pulls that one left and wide we'll allow him that one hey. then the driving wind and rain did everything perfectly if, left if, and wide if I have one little criticism of Desi there he could have popped at the party uh, here and, it's the only and Harry Ruddle yeah, had yeah, gone inside as well the only little thing there that I, I, I could say about the young fella he could have popped the pass but in these conditions and the time ticking down, 61 minutes, 2.11 to 12 points. Picked up inside Kenny there by, Ed, by Ian Kenny. Good play by Kenny. He wins a free and he jumps into the air. The 28-year-old, he's happy. A free is as good as a score. Black Mormon are getting a bit involved there. Off the ball, Kevin Mahoney there being pushed away. I'm sure his mum, Clara, and Mikey, of course, was part of the great team in the 90s. Mickey Mahoney, his dad, and uh, granddad Kevin Mahoney as well. And, of course... Here comes the third, here comes the linesman in again, Kieran. So another, there'll be another card here. Yeah, so the linesman is coming in. He's calling re- away the referee. So the linesman has been busy today. We've had two men sent off. Far Lockmore, the McGrath brothers, Noel sent off in the first half. John in the second. Two eleven to twelve. Two minutes of additional time. Ball thrown in near the sixty-five. Kenny comes in to try and take it. Snips it into his hand. Flicks the ball away. As far as Parik Mahoney, who's standing on the sideline, it's a free for the men in black and yeah. red. As good as the score, Darrow Sullivan is delighted. Yeah, the accountant yeah. there, he's done some job. Taking over from Fergal Hartley as manager of a team that has done three in a row, wasn't easy. David Franks, Rory Sullivan, Patrick Harn, take your hat off. Shafe is Patrick and his two daughters. What a... What a backup and what a setup they have and what a, yeah. what, a, what a team they have on the field there. Yeah, unbelievable, Kieran. On and off the field, outstanding. So Parik Mahoney with this one. He's, he's taking his time with this one steadies himself follows through but the wind is going to take this one right 
And it's gone wide, but is that as good as the score then? Yeah, Kieran, dead ball. Dead ball. Second minute, 46 seconds, Kieran, so I'd say. So hopefully, Mike, if somebody. I think you should blow it. You should blow it. Should the referee should hear the final blow very, very shortly. Ball dropped inside the 45. Going high is Shane O'Sullivan. Trying to get the ball into his hand. Inside the belly gunner, 45. Picking up the ball is Ian Kenny. More and more into it. And as far as Porrick Manny. Good play by the cotton control man. Drops the ball to the ground. Picks it up again. Sends a lovely low ball. But he's looking for Desi, but the man out in front of him this time is Larkin Egan for the first time today. He's out in front of him, but it's all over, it's all over. And Barry Gunner are back in the Muster final. They had a record 10 appearance, now they're in their 11th Muster final. Final score, 2 11 to 12 points. A well deserved win, Dan. Yeah, well deserved, Kieran. Um... <laughs> And a Russell Father Ville, he had Ian Kenny against Parnock Mahoney, now Philip Bohorda Gamara, Saturnella, Eraus Erfat, is Mo Kur Avi, Savor Rome Patron Hone, and he said Kilmachalog, Agus Pile Vekonner, a Vexachle Kanish, Agus, well, Bicharta Ronald Gemerson Gamamar Horak.